Well, Mark Guarmelo, I'm starting my uh, clock here, so I'll stay the exact two minutes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and sir, I'm, uh, sir, sir, I need you to put on your mask. Should I stop my clock? I, I can't. Presidents Biden and uh, J.B. Pritzker both speak without a mask. Can I? And I do have an exemption. Will you allow me to speak? And please, I'm sorry. I'm not going to interrupt you when you speak. We, I'm sorry, right. sir. It's the, pro, it's the rule. You're going to need to keep your mask on. I have an exemption. I mean, I, I don't want to go into the whole thing about explaining to you. I don't even know you guys. And I don't want to explain my medical situation. And I, I thought I'd be allowed to speak. Can I restart my clock? I'm no, at 38 seconds You can stop your clock now. for a second if you could just make me one moment. I mean, I'm at 41 seconds and I'm two lines into my speech. It's to, to, we'll, we'll, we'll start your clock again. Don't, don't worry. I'm, so, I'm don't, sorry. Don't worry about your clock for the moment. Okay, we'll, we'll come. We'll, well, I'm nervous because you're telling me I can't speak. I'm ready to speak. I, we need you to have you put on your mask, sir. That's what you can't. Follow the rule. I can't speak with my mask on. I can't articulate. I have a medical, but you're not going to honor medical and no, religious exemption. No, you have a medical exemption. Oh, okay, that's, I that's mean, fine, sir. I mean, we'll take I'm you, embarrassed. We'll take it's humiliating. Oh, there's more. Now, if you notice behind this male Karen, everybody has on the mask. As a matter of fact, he had on the mask as well. He did not take his mask off until he got to the podium because he respected the rules of the facility until it was time for him to talk. Now he wants to violate the rules, but here's what happened. There's an anti-Karen in particular, but really this whole building is anti-Karen. Here it is. Can I reset my clock? Just start start again. Go ahead, sir. I'm resetting to two minutes. I'm Are you going to let him speak without a mask? Okay. Well, he's got a medical exemption. Now he's interrupting me. I mean, you guys know? are rude. How do we know? Do I get to speak or not? Do I get to speak? Who's this? Are you the mask police? Can I speak or not? It will let you speak. Just one moment, please. Mr. Taub, did you have a question? Is he in charge? Okay. So are you in charge? No, Mr. I'm Tubbs. speaking as public charge? comment. Are, are you, you in said, charge? You said at the beginning of the minute you, you would not be rude to people. Enough. Are you in charge? Mr. Tubb. Mr. Tubb. We should remove him. I mean, this we, is, we, this we, is Mr. rude. This, did, we'll start your two minutes now, sir. Okay. <sighs> this is not what you promised. You said if they don't wear a mask, they can't speak. I have a mask. I can wear the mask on my head if you want. I mean, it's just you can wear your mask on your balls. Okay. Enough. 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 We're gonna take recess for five minutes. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Let's put up a picture of the. It's actually a school board member that yelled that out. And then he he took the microphone away uh, from the male carrot. He literally got up and took the microphone away. I applaud the actions of this Glenn Brooks school board member, Joel Taub is his name, a remarkable fella, obviously. Now, this is one of those um, townships where people are actually okay with the public health policy because they care about how the health of others, they care about how their actions impact the health of others. And so they're following the rules here. Now there's one guy who followed the rules up until one point, right? And he even had the audacity to say, we need to remove you. Talking about a school board member who cited the fact that he's violated the policy. Well, these anti-Karens made me smile, David. And that anti-Karen was awfully patient. I mean, it took him a little yeah. while before he finally got riled up right. and said, put it on your effing. Um, <laughs> right. Look, the fact of the matter is this particular Karen, we know that he wanted to create a scene because the way you can get something in front of a school board, you don't have to make it verbal remarks. You can That's put right. it in writing and send it to them and demand that it be part of the official record and it will be. The fact yep. that he wanted to speak, he doesn't have a right to speak in front of a school board. He's got to adhere to the rules. The fact that he didn't want to, this was just an effort by his part to get attention, I think. Yeah, and just. For those who are keeping note of this, and I think it's important, the facility, if there's a disability, there's a medical condition that you cannot actually wear your mask. By the law, facilities have to then make what's called a reasonable accommodation for you. What David just mentioned is one of those reasonable accommodations, meaning you can write your complaint or whatever you wanna say and they can adopt it as part of the official record. Some school boards even allow you to call it in and a recording is adopted as the official record. That is their way of using their opportunity for a reasonable exception for you. 